So in this video, we are going to learn how to add WooCommerce order details in MongoDB. Let's say you are using WooCommerce to set up your e-commerce store and you want to add the new order details which you are getting on WooCommerce into your MongoDB database. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process and in this automation, as we are going to receive a new order on our WooCommerce store, all the details of the order like the customer details, customer address, total amount and the details of the product which are ordered by the customer will be added in our MongoDB database as well. Now if you want to learn how you can set up this complete automation all by yourself without any coding skills or technical knowledge, for that you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my WooCommerce store. Now I want that whenever I get a new order on my WooCommerce store, I want to add the details of that order in my MongoDB database, MongoDB collection over here. Now to do this, we have to connect our WooCommerce store with MongoDB. And we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration platform. Now to get started with Pavli Connect, you will get a free sign up link in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after creating the account and coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, let's click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as WooCommerce to MongoDB. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then just select the folder of the Pavli Connect account in which you want to set up this automation and click on create. And as you click on create here, you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. In this workflow, you can see we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect a WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect in the trigger step so that whenever we are going to receive a new order in WooCommerce, automatically the details of that order will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. It will start. So now after that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of the order and the customer who placed the order and add them in our MongoDB collection, our MongoDB database as well. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose Zap, search for WooCommerce and select it. After selecting WooCommerce in Trigger Event from the drop-down, select the Trigger Event as New Order Created. After selecting this Trigger Event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And now using this webhook URL, we are going to basically connect our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect. Now to add the webhook URL, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just copy the webhook URL from here and go to your WooCommerce store. So this is my WordPress account in which I have added my WooCommerce plugin. So let's come to WordPress from the left sidebar, hover on WooCommerce and go to WooCommerce settings. After coming to the WooCommerce settings page, here from the top bar, we will go to this advanced tab. And after coming to the advanced tab, here you can see this option of webhooks. Click on webhooks. Now as you click on webhooks, here you can see we get this button to add a new webhook. Click on this add webhook button. And after clicking on add webhook, we have to enter some details. Like it is asking us for the name. So let's say I'll name my webhook URL as Pavli Connect. The status of this webhook by default is disabled, so from this drop-down, we are going to change it to active. Then here in topic, from this drop-down, we have to select the topic as order created because we want that whenever a new order is created, whenever we are going to receive a new order in WooCommerce, we want to send those details to Pavli Connect. So that's why we are selecting this topic. Then it is asking us for the delivery URL. And here in delivery URL, we have to enter the exact same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL over here, just click on save webhook. And this webhook URL is now added in our WooCommerce store. Now whenever a new order will be created, whenever we are going to receive a new order in our WooCommerce store, automatically the details of the same order will be sent to Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. And here in Pavli Connect workflow, we have received a webhook ID, a confirmation message as well. Now after this, what we have to do, you can see this simple response button over here. By default, this simple response button is turned off. We have to just turn this button off over here and after turning off this button, just click on this recapture webhook response button. Now as you click on recapture webhook response, it has now changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some details of a new order from our WooCommerce store. So let's do it. 
I'll just go to my WooCommerce store over here and we are going to place a multi-product order. Like in this test order, dummy order which we are going to place, we are going to place the order for multiple products. So I'll just select the product as air cooler, this dress and also this microphone over here. So let me just continue shopping and add a third product over here. And the third product is the microphone. Let's add to cart. And after this, let me change the quantity. Let's say I'm ordering two air cooler, one dress and three microphones. Update cart. And after clicking on update cart, we'll just scroll down and click on this proceed to checkout button. Now, after coming to the checkout page here, we have to enter the details of the customer. Let's say the name of the customer is demo customer. After that, the company name is optional. So we are not entering it. We have entered some address over here, one, two, three, or let me just update the address as A101 New Street. Then we are going to enter the city as Bhopal. This is Madhya Pradesh. Let me just change the mobile number over here. And this is a dummy email address, demo customer. So just now what we have done on this checkout page, we have basically placing an order over here for three products, air cooler, a dress over here, a gown dress, and a microphone. And after entering these details, like after entering the details of a dummy customer, we will just scroll down and click on place order. And as you click on place order, here you can see the order will be placed over here. So just now what has done, we have received a new order on our WooCommerce store. After receiving this order, we can see that in our public connect workflow in this trigger step, within few seconds, we are going to receive the response. And in that response, we will get the details of the same order which we have received just now on our WooCommerce store. So what we have to do, we just have to wait for a few seconds over here and the response is received. And here you can see that in this response, we have the details of the same up order. So we have the same total amount over here. We'll scroll down further. Here you can see we have the line items for the shipping details. We'll scroll down further. We have the address of the customer. We have the name of the customer, demo customer. We have the city. We have the rest of the address as well. We'll scroll down further. We have the payment method. After that, you can see in front of line items, in front of this response, you can see all the details related to the product which the customer has ordered. So the customer has ordered three different products and all the details like what is the quantity, what is the price, what is the tax rate, all of these details for all the products which we have received over here for which we have received the order are received in front of line items. And after that, we'll scroll down further and you can see some other details as well. Like we have customer's name, billing name over here, billing phone number, email address and the rest of the address details too. So in this way, using this connection, using this webhook URL, we have successfully connected our WooCommerce store with Pabli Connect and received the response of the new order which we are receiving on a WooCommerce store inside Pabli Connect workflow. And we have received this response. We have received these details in advanced response over here. That's why we have received the line items, the response of line items of the products which the customer has ordered. Now after this, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. And now let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send these details like the product which we, the customer has ordered and the details of the customer who placed the order. And we want to add these details in MongoDB. For that, we will scroll down, come to this action step and here in choose app, search for MongoDB over here. Just select it. After selecting MongoDB, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as create record. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our MongoDB account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the connection string of our MongoDB account. Now you must be thinking, what is this connection string and how you can get this connection string over here. So the connection string is something like this, which you will get in the database of your MongoDB account. And here in the help text, you can see this learn more button. If you click on this button over here, it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you will get a step-by-step -step guide that how you can connect your MongoDB account with Pabli Connect. So let me show you the step-by-step -step process as well. So to connect our MongoDB account and get the connection string, first what we have to do, we'll just go to a MongoDB account. And from the left sidebar, first we have to go to this network access section. And we have to include our current IP address. Just click on this add IP address button. And then from here, you can just include your current IP address. I have already added this IP address, so that's why you can see the same IP address over here. After adding the current IP address in your MongoDB account, we'll go to the cluster section. And then here you can see this is the database over here. This is the first cluster, which I want to connect. Click on this connect button. After clicking on connect, go to drivers and scroll down. And here you can see the connection string. We have to copy this exact same connection string, which we can see on our MongoDB account. Just copy it from here. 
and paste it over here in this section in this connection window of Pavli Connect. And here in this connection string, what we have to do, we have the username over here, then we have to enter the password of this particular database which we have created or this particular project which we have created in MongoDB. And after that, after .NET slash and before this question mark, here we have to enter the name of the database that in which particular database in our MongoDB account, we want to add the details, we want to add the data. So let me just enter the password over here. So this is the password for my MongoDB collection. And let me enter the database name as well. So name of the database in which I want to add the details is WooCommerce. Let me show you. We'll just go to browse collection. And under collection, you can see this is the database named as WooCommerce. And under WooCommerce also, I have this particular collection over here named as new order in which we want to add the data. But right now in the connection string, we just have to enter the name of the database over here. I'll just copy the name and paste it over here. And after entering the username, the password of your MongoDB collection, MongoDB database and entering your database name, what we have to do, we just have to click on save. And as we click on save, you can see our MongoDB account will get connected with Pavli Connect. Now, after making this connection, it is asking us for the collection name that in which particular collection in the database we want to add the new order details. So in WooCommerce order in this database, I have this collection named as new orders in which we want to add the details of a new order. So I'll just copy the same name and paste it over here. Now after entering the collection name, it is asking us for the custom JSON or custom data that what is the data? What are the details you want to add? So either you can enter the custom JSON body, you can just create a complete JSON body over here with the data which you want to add and enter it over here. Or what you can do, you can use this custom data field to create it, the fields over here. So we will just turn this mapping button on in front of custom data and clear the default response. And all the details which we want to add of a new order in our MongoDB database, we are going to name or mention the key of all of those fields, all of these details. Like I want to enter the customer name, so I'll add name, then add a comma, then I want to mention the customer email, so I'll just write the field name, the key name over here as email. Then I also want to mention the mobile number, so I'll just create another field over here, mobile number. Then I want to mention the address, so I'll just create a field or address. I also want to mention the total amount of the order. So I'll enter total amount. Then I want to mention the details of the product which is ordered by customer. And we have received these details in line items. So I'll just enter a field. I'll just create a field as product orders. Products ordered. So these are the details. For these field, I want to add the details. All of these details of a new order which we have received on WooCommerce, I want to add in MongoDB. So by separating commas, we have named all of these field. After naming the field over here, you can see that as we move out of this particular box, all of these fields are created. With all the names, fields are created. With all the keys, these fields are created over here. And one by one, what we can do, the responses, the details of a new order which we have received from WooCommerce in the trigger step, we can basically map or add these details, these responses in this MongoDB action step. So let's start with name. We'll just click on this field and here in this drop down, we have received the response of the details or the order details over here. From these responses, we'll just search for the billing name over here, the name of the customer, just select it and it will be mapped. After mapping the first name, let's add a space and select the response of last name and map it as well. So in this way, whatever name the customer is going to enter on the checkout page, the same details of the order will be received inside Pavli Connect. And using this automation, we are going to send the same details to MongoDB too. After name, let's map the email address. We'll just search for the response of email, select it and map it over here. Then let's map the response of mobile number over here. So I'll just search for phone number, billing phone number, select it and map it. Then we can map the response of address as well. So I'll just select the response of address line one. I'll add a comma, then let's map the response of address line two. Then we are going to map the response of city. So let's search for city over here. Let's add a comma before city and that's Bhopal. Then let's add the state as well. So let's search for the response of state, billing state. And let me add a zip code too. So I'll just enter the postal code. Here it is. So in this way, we have entered the address in this address field. Now we are going to map the response of total amount. So here we have the response of total amount of the order. Let's map it. And here in products ordered, we want to mention that all the products with all the details like the product ID, product name, quantity, price, and all of these details over here. 
So I'll just click on this field and from WooCommerce responses, we have received the details of the product in line items. So we are going to select and map this response of line items over here. So in line items, in this JSON body of line items, we have received details of all the product and we are going to map the same JSON over here and add this data in our MongoDB database as it is. So in this way, you can see all the details which you want to add. We have created keys for these particular details and then fields for these keys are created and map the respected response. After mapping the details, let's scroll down and click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, the fields which we have created using this data, a JSON board is created and that data is now added in our MongoDB database. So let's check it. We'll just go to a MongoDB account and refresh this page once. And yes, here you can see that just now a new data is added over here. This is the object ID, unique object ID generated by MongoDB. Here we have the name of the customer, demo customer. We have the same customer's email address. We have the same customer's mobile number, same customer's address over here. And after that, we have the total amount and we have the products ordered over here in array. And there were three products ordered. So we have three different arrays over here. In object one, we have the post product name, product ID over here. And after that, we have the same quantity, subtotal and total price over here. We also have the taxes and other details. Then we have the object two over here. That is the second product. In object three, we have the details of the third product over here. In this way, all the details of a new order which we have received on a WooCommerce store are added in our MongoDB database. And we have added these details with all the products which were ordered by the customer. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. I'll go back to my WooCommerce store over here and then we are going to place another order. So we'll just come to our WooCommerce store and let me add some products over here as well. So let's say I have this LED bulb, let me add this product and also this ebook over here. So let me just continue shopping and add another product, ebook on social media. So we have added two products in LED bulb, I'll set the quantity as three and for ebook, I'll set the quantity as one. Let's click on update cart. Now after updating the cart, we'll scroll down and proceed to checkout. And this time on the checkout page, we are going to change the details of the customer. The name of the customer is test customer. The address is for example, Z1 Old Street. Just some little changes over here. Let me change the mobile number as well. And the email address to test customer. So just now we have entered the details of a new customer. Now let's click on place order and as we click on place order, here you can see on a WooCommerce store, just now we have received a new order over here from test customer. The name of the customer is test customer. This is the phone number. This is the email address and these are the details. The product which this customer has ordered is LED bulb. The quantity is three and ebook on social media. The quantity is one. Now, as we receive this order, we will see instantly within seconds, the details of the same order will be added in MongoDB. So let's go to MongoDB and refresh this page once. And yes, here you can see that the details of the second order is also added. We have the same name, test customer. We have the same email address, same phone number. After that, we have the same address and total amount too. And here we have the array of two different products. The first product is LED bulb. This is the product ID and the quantity is three. The second product over here is ebook on social media. This is the product ID and the quantity is one. And we have the other details of these products as well. So this means the automation workflow between WooCommerce and MongoDB, which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and start using this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can just do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.